Welcome back to the movie recap. Today's movie will be a 2020 Dutch World War II film titled The Forgotten Battle. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. The movie begins by showing a Nazi map during World War II. It's the sixth day of June 1944, the Normandy invasion. After two months of heavy fighting, the Germans hastily retreated. The Allies desperately need to secure a port to get supplies for their troops from Brussels to Antwerp. The town of Antwerp is liberated, and the port is intact. The Skelt River is open, but the Allies cannot reach Antwerp since Germany holds the Skelt. Part of the German army retreats across the Skelt River, and the Netherlands expects to be liberated at any moment. On September 5, 1944, in Vlissingen, Zeeland, province of Netherlands. The town was heavily busy with people who had recently received the liberation they longed for from the German Nazi armies who had invaded them for years. In a city hall where locals work, they hurry to get rid of the German-related papers as soon as possible. A young woman named Tuncha Visser, nicknamed Tune, is one of the workers there. She usually does the paper stuff for Mayor Oa Steven. After Tune's duty, she goes straight to her best friend's work at the bake shop, Jana. She picks her up, and they start to enjoy the rest of the day. While watching the German army walking off their town, a 17-year-old guy named Dirk grabs his camera and takes pictures of everything he sees. Dirk is Tune's younger brother. Until one of the armies notices him and gets mad at him, the soldier grabs Dirk's camera and throws it into the mud until it breaks. After that, the soldier left as if nothing had happened. With his madness and frustration, Dirk decides to grab a big stone and throw it into the oncoming army truck. Unfortunately, the rock hits the driver, and he loses control of the wheel, which leads to the unexpected hitting of other walking soldiers. The Germans try to chase Dirk after he runs, but it's unsuccessful. However, a month before that, on August 11, 1944, at Narva, the Russian front, the German armies were trying to defend their territories from the Allies. One of their dearest soldiers is a Dutchman named Marinus van Stavern. He mostly plants landmines for the Allies to step in, not until they get into their territory and almost kill everyone, including his best friend, Lucas. Stavern gets severely injured after the battle and gets straight to the infirmary. Back in Vlissingen, Toon gets home and waits for his brother to arrive at any moment. After a long wait, Dirk comes home with an injury in his arm since he got shot by the soldier. Toon and Dirk have a strong bond relationship since their father is a doctor and works almost all day in a German hospital. At the same time, their mother sadly passed away when they were young. Days after that incident, on September 16, 1944, in Dorset, England, an English Allies plane was training above the sky under the supervision of Tony Turner and one of his students, William Sinclair. They are flying next to each other, and Tony's plane supports Williams. When they landed, Tony got irritated by what William did since he released the rope that tied around them. William idolizes Tony so much and wants to be around him anywhere he goes, even during the incoming battle in Antwerp. Tony promises to bring his son alive at Christmas dinner. William hates how he receives special treatment and teases other soldiers only because he's the son of the general. In Narva, Stavern wakes up in a hospital next to soldiers who are either wounded or dying. He stares into nothing and waits for people to come over to him, he's like an absent-minded person until one of the disabled soldiers comes up to him, whose body is attached to his wheelchair, his name is First Lieutenant Friedrich Fischer, a Dutchman. In Dorset, the Englishman allies plan their strategies on how to attack Antwerp, calling it Operation Market Garden, and their one and only objective is to retake Arnhem. The general who leads the meeting is William's father. After he dismisses the meeting, his son William comes to him. He asks for his permission to join the mission, but he refuses. William is left speechless when his father walks out of sight because his dad wants to keep him alive and safe. But William doesn't want that, he wants some reputation for himself. So he comes up to Tony and lies that his father agreed and permitted him to go with him, so Tony brings him along. Back in the hospital, Friedrich and Stavern get along, they mostly talk about their pre-war lives and their dreams for their country and future. It all seems reachable until Friedrich decides to take his own life that same night they receive the news that Svagaren is appointed to go to Holland. In Vlissingen, many young guys, the same as Dirk's age range, are getting arrested by German officials, they are trying to capture who threw that day. At work, Toon hears women gossip about catching innocent guys and mothers begging soldiers not to hurt their sons. She feels guilty and tells her father and brother as she returns home. Dirk wants to turn himself in and release the innocent guys involved because of his wrongdoings. But his sister refuses, and as a family, they think about a solution to this problem, only to believe that Jana, Toon's best friend, can help. Toon is surprised by this because she never thought Jana knew something. On the other side, Englishman allies start their Operation Market Garden. Inside Tony's plane are William, Nigel, Hank, 
and John. They fly across the borders of European countries until they reach the land of Zealand. The locals and Germans see their aircraft coming. The Nazi bombs the planes, and they either get destroyed or burned. One of those planes is Tony's, the plane's left wing is bombed, and they need to release and land nearby. Since Tony gets injured, he trusts their lives to William, whom he is co-piloting. William releases the plane and lands on the nearby ocean. Back in the Visser household, Oberst Berghoff surprises Toon's family by arriving at their house. Toon immediately orders her brother to go and hide inside the basement. Instead, Oberst comes in, talks to Toon, and waits until Dr. Visser comes home. He asks the family to let Dirk report to their office as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Tony and his men are stuck on a lone island, where they can only see endless bodies of water, grasses, and smoke from the war. Tony gets severely injured and needs to be on a stretcher while his men protect and carry him, they are trying to find a place to hide. Hank, originally a Dutchman, says they are in Shawen. He vividly remembers the place with its picturesque ambience, and the Germans bombarded everything. Hank also confirms that the town intentionally got flooded by the Germans. On the other hand, Toon and her father go to Oberst's office and ask for a request. By Dirk's willingness to turn in, he wants two things from the Germans. First, to release the innocent guys they caught, and second, to give him a prison sentence instead of a death sentence. Oberst agrees to it, and his men arrest Dirk from his house. The Englishman allies find a barn and decide to rest there, and they spend the night making a bonfire in the middle of a rainy evening. Until they get alerted when someone comes in the barn, a local old man owns the barn. Instead of killing him, they are surprised when the man gives them bread and water, and the boys enjoy eating them. When Toon returns to the bake shop where Jana works, she's emotionless with obvious puffy eyes. Jana knows what it means and tries to comfort her, but Toon refuses to give the pictures that Dirk had said to her before he got arrested. Instead, Toon wants to negotiate with the friend they're talking about, and since Jans really needs the pictures, she has no choice but to bring Toon along. That same evening at 8 o'clock, Toon returns to the bake shop and meets Pim Denover. The guy who has been partnering with allies for quite a while works with Jana and Dirk, who have been taking pictures to send to allies. They are helping the allies to get the Nazis' strategies and liberate the Netherlands from their oppression. Toon agrees that they need to get back and save Dirk from the Germans, and in exchange, she will work for them undercover since she's working in the city hall. As a result, she can steal documents and things they need and end with an agreement for a win-win for both parties. Meanwhile, the English soldiers reach the ghost town, where the houses are empty and damaged everywhere. They decide to go to a big open house, where the boys find alcohol to enjoy with. Even though there's a lot of uncertainty and fear in their hearts, they still get to enjoy the night, teasing one another and just laughing. The following day, when William wakes up, he finds out that Nigel and John betrayed them by fleeing with no trace. They even get valuable things like maps with them. With that, Tony decides to order Hank and William to get a boat so that they can flee and go to Arnhem as soon as possible. William and Hank leave Tony alone in the house, trying to find a boat, but they only get disappointed with what they see. As they are heading back to the house, they notice that there is a rubber boat from the Germans, and as they go inside, they find two German soldiers trying to search the house. When William and Hank go inside, they try to hide at first. Still, they suddenly kick the other soldier into the basement area. When they get up and look for Tony, he is being held hostage by the others, negotiations get in the way, but in the end, Tony dies, and William kills the two soldiers. He and Hank are left devastated and bring the rubber boat with them as they flee from the town, only after burying Tony. In Vlissingen, Toon gets a map and gives it to Jana. Due to Dirk's absence, both of them are now helping each other. And in the office, Stavern hears the loud voice of Dirk, all the way from the dungeon, who is begging the Germans to stop the torture they are giving him. The Germans are interrogating Dirk, as punishment, they are cutting his fingers. All of these things are seen by Stavern. With guilt in his heart, Stavern informs Toon despite the danger of meeting with Toon because he knows that he is part of the reason why Dirk is about to get executed. Stavern also helps the other Nazis to look after the soldiers from the crashed plane and to go to the courtyard and kill the traitors of the Nazis, including Dirk. Toon immediately goes home and informs her father about it. Dr. Visser is optimistic that he will be able to pursue Oberst and convince him to stop it from happening. But instead, Dr. Visser goes to the campsite but gets only rejected by Oberst, and he returns home with a heavy broken heart. Dirk and three other guys are transported to the courtyard, there, they are tied up in a wood, and the Germans are on the other side to fire them. They get killed within a few minutes after arriving, and Stavern is one of the soldiers who make the killing. Despite the sad news, Pim, who escaped from being caught, gathers Jana and Toon in the bake shop. Since Pim gets a gunshot in his left abdomen, he can't go to the Allies to give the pictures and the map, so he asks the two girls to do it for him. 
he carefully instructs them on what they need to do and what to say, and that same night, off they go. On the other hand, Hank leaves William alone because he fears what might happen to them. William, who successfully crossed the river, is walking in an open field until the Allies' trucks find him and tag him along. They bring him to the campsite, and William enjoys the luxury of having food and a bed with him. Meanwhile, Jana and Toon start their adventure. They simply passed by the German border since they had IDs. On the contrary, Stavern is shocked at what he just did, killing innocent people who only want peace. It hurts him even though they arrive at the major front line where the war occurs. The two girls are endlessly walking in the tall grasses and open fields, only to find themselves in the place where they see the causeway and the boat that Pym is talking about. That evening, they execute their plan, but some Germans watch over the place, to their surprise. So they fire guns at them. Unfortunately, Jana is the only one who gets in the boat and goes off. Toon gets arrested, but Jana has the pictures. The next day, the Allies attack the Nazis, and the war begins, there are endless gunshots, tanks, bombs, and soldiers dying minute by minute. But, until the Allies got a little outnumbered, they didn't give up, they just stepped back and did the plan. William, who is losing hope back in the campsite, sees the dying body of Jana arriving at their infirmary, she gives the bag to the soldiers and dies. The Allies are able to locate and see what's in the bag, it's all helpful for their side and gives them a great advantage. Again, William and many other soldiers silently attack the Nazis, but this time, at their backs. The Nazis are surprised and easily get outnumbered. The Allies kill as many as they can and invade the territory as much as possible. While everyone gets killed and kills each other, it's the contrary for William and Stavern when they meet each other's eyes. They just let go of one another. While the Germans get captured, others try to flee, but they almost forget that they have a prisoner like Toon. One of the Nazis goes back to the dungeon, nearly killing Toon. Still, Stavern can kill the soldier first before killing the woman. Toon and Stavern are in each other's arms until his last breath, she tries to save him, but it's too late. The movie ends when William sees Toon staying with Stavern until the very end. After that, Valkyrie gets liberated on November 7, 1944. Because of the Battle of River of Skelt, the Allies could send supplies for their men in Antwerp, eventually freeing more land and winning World War II. And all of these events are based on a true story. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.